Hello, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is English class. It's nice to have you one more time on Monday. It's nice to have you. Let's begin with what's going to be today's agenda. Uh, we're going to start with the section number three today, as you may see on the screen. Uh, we have the, 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 the title is How much is it? We're going to work with the master tips one and one. This is pre intermediate level number one, and this is class number five. So it's nice to have you all one more time. Good evening, everybody. It's nice to have you one more time. Stephanie is here. Hi, Stephanie. Good evening. Welcome. How are you? Hi, Angel. Mister. I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Um, what is your favorite music? Everything. <laughs> Everything. Uh, do you have a favorite yes. artist? No. Not really. Okay, so basically you like rancheras, cumbias. Yeah. Uh, yes. Everything. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay, sounds pretty good. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, Raul Reyes. Good evening, Raul. Hello, hello. Good evening. Hi. How are you? Very good. That sounds great. Are you ready for uh Black Friday? Mm. Are you ready for Black Friday? Yes. Oh, sounds pretty good. Are you going to spend a lot of money on Black Friday? Mm. No. Not really. Okay. Okay. Because it's like it's not like everything is expensive, right? Thank you so much. Andrea Marisol, good evening. Welcome. It's nice good to have you. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thank you for asking. Yeah. It's a wonderful day, right? It's a wonderful day. It's a wonderful day today. Everything is good. Yeah. And it's Monday. Brenda Castro is here. Hello, Brenda. Good evening. Yeah. Hello, teacher. Do you have brothers and sisters, Brenda? Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Do you have brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, One. how many brothers and sisters do you have? One. One brother. One brother or one sister? One sister. What's her, name? What's her name? Oh, uh, Anna. Oh, her name is, her Anna. Name is Anna. And what's what's your brother's name? Um, my brother's name is Oscar Eric and Johnny. Oh, so you have two brothers, right? Three. <laughs> oh, three brothers. Oh, this is a very yes. big family. It's a very big family. Thank you so much yes. for sharing Thank that. You. Um, Carolina del Carmen Perez. Hello, Carolina. Carolina. No. What about you, Claudia? Hello, Claudia. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Thank you. Do you have a pet? Do you have a pet? A pet. Um. Yes, I have. Okay. Is it is it a dog or it is a cat? It's a dog. Oh, it is big or small? It's a big. Um. Yes, it's a big. Okay. Big dog. It, is, it is a friendly dog or is an angry dog? It's a friendly dog. Oh, sounds pretty yes. good. Thank you so much. Yes, for yes. Thank, Thank you, so teacher. Much. Oh, okay, people. So um, let me see. Oh, I need to change my name. I'm sorry. Give me a minute. Oh, let me see. Rename. Here we go. Give me a minute. I need to change oh, the name here. Give me some time. Okay. Here we go. Welcome, Claudia. It's nice to have you. And also, Carla. 
Don't forget that your cameras must be on from the beginning till the end. I will take the attendance right now. So when you hear your name, say presenter, I'm here, okay? Give me a minute. I got the list here. Um, Allison. Hello, Allison. Good evening. Are you here, Allison? No? Okay, what about Anna? Marisol Zamora. Anna Marisol? Thank you. Andrea Marisol Represa? I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Andrea Vanessa Landos? Andrea Vanessa Landos? No? Okie dokie. What about Barbara Alejandra Cabrera? Hello, Barbara. Hello, teacher present. Thank you so much. Brenda Isabel Castro. Brenda? Present. Thank you, Brenda. Carolina del Carmen Perez. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Claudia Giselle Lopez. I'm here, mister. Thank you so much, Claudia. Cristina America Monge. Cristina America Monge. Hello, Cristina. No? Okay, she's absent. Um, Daniela Magali Asensio. Daniela Magali Asensio. No? Okay, what about um Edgar? I think Edgar he sent me a message in the chat. I think you're traveling, right, Edgar? Let me see. Yes, he's traveling by bus right now. Also Brenda as well. And I think okay, give me a minute. Thank you, Andrea Landos. I got you, I got your message. I got your message, Andrea. Thank you so much. Um, Ernesto. Hello, Ernesto. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you? Good, Welcome. good. Thank you. Uh, Griselda Moreno. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Ivania, Stephanie. Ivania? No. Okay. Oh, oh, give me a break. Um, Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. Jennifer Guadalupe Torres. Present, Mister. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Sure. Jennifer uh, Paola Moss. Jennifer Paola. Hello, hello, Jennifer. No. Okay. Um, Jennifer Andrea Marroquín. What is <clears throat> Jennifer Marroquin? Hello, Jennifer. Are you here? No? Okay, let's continue working with Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn Mancia. Thank you so much. Karen Carpio. I think she's here, but she's just listening. Let me check. Carpio. Yes, she's here, but she's listening. Okay, I already checked the attendance. Don't worry, I got you. Uh, Carla Colocho. Hello, Carla. I'm here. Thank you so much and welcome. Uh, Laura Molina. Hello, Laura. Present. Thank you so much. Leslie. Present. Thank you, Leslie, and welcome. Lisbeth de Rodriguez. Hello, Lisbeth. No, no Lisbeth today. Okay, what about Lorena del Carmen Hernandez? Lorena del Carmen Hernandez? Lorena, no? Okay, let's continue with uh, Lucia Cepeda. Present teacher. Thank you, Lucia. It's nice to have you one more time. Mayra Mendez. Present teacher. Thank you, Mayra. Raul Reyes. I'm here. Thank you, Raul. Um, uh, Dalila Barahona. Hello, Dalila. Good evening. 
Dalila, Dalila. No. Ok. Eh, Ruth del Carmen, chicas. Ruth del Carmen, chicas. Hello, hello, Ruth. Do you hear hello. me? Hello. Welcome. It's nice to have you. Eh, Stephanie Abigail. Present, mister. Thank you, Stephanie. It's nice to have you, everybody. Welcome to another English class here on Zoom. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. As you may know, this is going to be today's agenda. Uh, we're going to work with section number three. For this week, in the website, which is the platform for Inglés Corporativo, you have uh, these two sections, right? The section is section number three. Y luego you have a midterm exam. So this is for this week, okay? So we are going to do this one during the week. Obviously, if you cannot like do it at home, right? You can like do more than this thing. That will be great. You know what I mean? That will be great. And if you have a question about any exercise, let me know so I can help you out here in class. So everything we're gonna do here, tell me in class so we can like um, do it here together. Y avísenme porque a veces me olvida que hablo mucho inglés. Okay? Let me know, please. Si algo no me entiende. Levante la mano y dígame, hey, Mr. Palomo, mucho inglés, ok? Let me know, explíqueme. E y con gusto le explico. That's no problem for me, ok? Just, just let me know, because sometimes I forget. I forget and I speak a lot of English, ok? Because I love to speak English, right? Jocelyn? Hi, hi, Jocelyn. Good evening. Welcome, 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 Jocelyn. It's nice to have you one more time. Ok, this is today's agenda in class number five. We're going to have this thing. Let's take a look at this video. This one, you have it in the website. Okay, I'm going to play it here so you can have it again. Let's listen and watch. Hi, we're now in section three. What is your neighborhood like? Please pay attention and try to understand the audio as much as possible. Remember, you may access to this conversation as many times as needed. I recommend for you to take notes while you are listening. In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about demonstratives while shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Let's listen one more time. Shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Shopping. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these? Hmm, yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is it? It's $42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday they're perfect let's have participation okay let's begin oh wait a minute oh let me see let me see jocelyn natalia hello jocelyn do you see the conversation jocelyn hello good evening welcome bella conversation do you see the conversation yes okay leame el titulo please thank you Conversation, they, they are perfect for you. 
Okay, entiende ese título? They're perfect for you. Ellos Ellos son perfectos. Y de ahí no me acuerdo. Y tú, pero no sé si es por por no sé qué es por. Para ti, para ti, right? Para ti. Eso, estos son perfectos para ti. Exactly. They're perfect for you, right? It's a typical expression, okay, that we use in English when we say that something is is good for somebody or it will look pretty much very good. Okay, so we can say they're, okay. they're perfect for you. Okay, uh, thank you so much. Another one, let me see. Um, Mayra, hello Mayra, thank you. Mayra? Hello, hello Mayra? Hello Mayra, no? Okay, what about you? Ana Marisol Zamora. Thank you, Ana Marisol Zamora. Thank you. What is this conversation about, Ana? Please. No, no. ¿De qué se trata la conversation? What is this conversation? Very good. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Barbara, question for you. Thank you so much, Anna. Barbara, question for you. Who is having, uh, who is celebrating um, a birthday? The gentleman or the lady? The lady. Okay. And how much are those earrings? What is uh, the price? Uh, 40, 40 42. <laughs> yes, 42. That is correct. Pero le faltó dollars. Uh, Dollars. Okay, yes. very good. Okay. Very good. Um well which one costs which one costs forty two dollars? Los yellow one or los blue one? Uh, los blue. Los okay. blue one. Very good. Okay, thank you so much. Vamos a practicar un poco this conversation with Steve and Maria. Okay, we're gonna have Caballeros, Ernesto, you, usted va a ser Steve, y Griselda, you are going to be Maria. Ready? Let's begin. Okay, ready. Oh, look, look up those earring Maria. They are perfect for you. These red ones are not suit. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this um, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, the nickel is in bad. This one? That blue one, right? Then how much it, is it? It's forty-two dollars. That's expensive. Hey, let me get get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday! Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Great job. Let's continue with Jocelyn and Gris and no, Gris did it. Jocelyn, Natalia. And Ruth Chicas, okay? Jocelyn, Natalia, and Ruth Chicas. Jocelyn, you are going to be Steve. And Jocelyn, you are Maria. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Yo soy Maria, ¿verdad? ¿Quién me iba a hacer Steve? Steve? Yes, yes. Entonces yo soy Steve. Yes. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. 
Dex Red Onyx. I am not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, that's awesome. in yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace is isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How how much is how much is it? X for two dollar tax expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, the two of you. Very good. Okay. Let's continue with you, Laura. Lina, I guess, right? Yes? No? I think it's... Hello. Hello, Laura. Welcome. How are you? You good? Thank you. Laura and Andrea Marisol. Okay. Um, Laura, you are going to be um, Steve, and Andrea, you are going to be Maria. Ready? Let's begin. Okay. Oh, look, uh, does Erin, Maria, they are perfect for you? This red one? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm. yellow isn't a really good color for me. Well, that night card is isn't isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much is how much is it? It is. $42? That's expensive. Hey, let me get, get it for you. Is you very pressing? Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Very good. We have necklace. Necklace. Very good. Thank you so much. Let me get another one. That's going to be you, Daniela, and Brenda. Okay, Daniela and Brenda. Brenda, you are going to be a Steve. And then ready? Okay. Oh, look at this your inspire. They are perfect for you. Yes, nice and clear. Yes, I'm just waiting for your partner, but she doesn't speak. Okay. Good check. Oh, Daniela? Brenda? Okay, Daniela? 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 Hello, Daniela? Sí, no le escucho, Daniela. Parece que tiene problems with your audio, because I don't, I don't hear you. I'm sorry, okay? Um, I will switch with somebody else, okay? So she can help me with this one. Leslie, are you the Ms. Leslie with Brenda, okay? So one more time, Brenda, you are Steve, and Maria, that's Leslie, okay? Okay. Let's begin, one more time. Oh, look. At these earrings, Maria, they are perfect for you. Oh, Leslie? Perdón, es que estaba haciendo grandecito para ver las letras. Este, these red ones, I'm not sure. Creo que sure. ¿Cómo, sure. ¿cómo se dice? Sure. Sure, continue. Sure. No, uh, the yellow ones. Oh, this mm, yellow is really a good color for me. Well, that necklace in the chiquito. Is it? It's a bad. It's a bad. Es que no veo casi. Okay, quiero ver si lo hago un poquito más grande. I'm sorry. 
Okay, what about this one? Which one? That blue one, right? How much is it? It's 42. That's expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. Okay. So we have this conversation about something that we're getting at the store. We usually say, how much is it? When we want to ask about the price, right? When we want to know cuánto valen las tortillas, we say, how much are those tortillas, right? Diez centavos is one. Those are expensive nowadays, right? You need to have money if you want to buy some tortillas, right? But you have the typical, the typical question, how much is it, okay? How much are those shoes? How much is that sandia, watermelon? How much is that soda? Okay, how much is that, I don't know, blouse? How much is that car? How much are those glasses? Oh, everything that that has a price, um, you can ask with this question, how much is it? How much is it? Or sometimes you can say, how much is that? And so on and so on. Okay, uh, we are going to take a look on the grammar content right now. Let me show you really quick. We have these two pictures in here, okay? Let's work with you, Andrea Lamos. Uh, what's, what's this? What's this, Andrea Lamos? A box. Okay, thank you. Ahora necesito que me dé una oración completa. What's this? This is a box. This is a box. Very good. And what are these? Uh, these, what are these? These are boxes. Very good. Okay. Beautiful. I love it. Right? So okay. this is a box and these are boxes. Right? This is a box. These are boxes. Again, we're playing with plural and singular. This is and these are. So one is short and the other one is long. Great job. Thank you so much. Very good. Let's continue. We're going to have demonstrative adjectives, pronouns. These ones are the basic one. Okay. Uh, let's have one participant, Carolina del Carmen. Hello. Can you participate, Carolina? Hello, teacher. Thank you. Lea, my disinformation, please. Thank you so much. <clears throat> Demonstrative adjectives and pronouns. This, that, these, those. Demonstrative adjectives describes a noun. This chair is broken. That car is expensive. These clothes are wet. Those beers are flying soaked. Demonstrative pronouns identify someone or something. This is my share. That is Peter, Peter's house. This is our hair clothes. Those are. Um, <laughs> Migrating. Migrating beers. Birds. Birds. Very good. Here we have demonstrative adjectives and here we have demonstrative pronouns, okay? Los dos se pronuncian igual. These, that, these, those. These, that, these, those, okay? All of them, we pronounce them the same way. However, there is a slight difference on the way we use it because this one is a demonstrative adjective. ¿Por qué es un demonstrative adjective? Porque después hay un objeto, right? In here, I have a chair. I have a car, I have clothes, and I have birds, right? This is this chair broken, this car expensive, these clothes, those birds. So that's because I'm using this information as a demonstrative adjective. Also, we can use with demonstrative pronouns, but that is a slight different. Here we have a verb, is, is, in our, in our, in here. Uh, Jocelyn, do you have a question? Teacher, la pronunciación de this y this es lo mismo. Es this y this. Oh, no, this one is short. Ahí this, es this. This, this. This. Y esto, los labios 
So let's parse in a little bit. This. 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 this ok. This. Entonces es un, es un poquito más largo. Es más larga esta. These clothes are wet. This chair is broken. Ok. Very good. Good question. I love it. Entonces, ¿entienden everything that we have here in this slide? ¿Algún vocabulary that you do not understand here? Everything is perfect. Okay, let's take a look at the following video. I think I have a video. Oh, Andrea, please, go ahead. Eh, teacher, eh, cuando habla de this, uh, estoy hablando en plural. Exactly, very good. Si usted se fija, mira el verbo que tenemos aquí. Mira el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Uh, R. Exactly, exactly. R. 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 So, whenever we're talking about something that is plural, we use R. Ok. Entonces, estas okay. últimas dos are plural. And these first two are singular. Ok. Ok, una última pregunta. So, cuando ocupo dos, es, es, son, eh, me estoy refiriendo a algo que yo solo lo estoy señalando o están lejos de mí. Oh, very good. We have this. Yes, this one is just like when something is close. Ok, and this one with something is far. Also here, we have okay. the plural. This one is with something is close. And this one is when something is far. Okay? Okay. So that is a different. Another good question. Very good. So we have this and that. Those are singular. Okay. One is when something is like close to me. And the other one is when the something is far, like over there. So you point with your finger the, the thing, right? And this one is quite the same. We have these when something is close and F which is far when something is, is, is far away, when something plural is far away. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at the following video so you can have more examples about this one. By the end of this lesson, participants will be able to use demonstrative pronouns, this, these, that, those, to express possible choices. Hello, this is what we're going to do. We will listen to the audio program first, try to follow the topic, and as soon as it is done, we will talk about it. Demonstratives. One, ones. How much is this necklace? How much is this one? How much is that necklace? How much is that one? Which one? The blue one. It's $42. How much are these earrings? How much are these? How much are those earrings? How much are those? Which ones? The yellow ones. They're $18. Prices. $42. $59.95 or $59.95. As you realized, we're talking about demonstrative pronouns. As you know, there are four. This, these, that, those. I know you have studied this before, so we will make a quick review. This, singular, near. These, plural, near. That, singular, far. Those, plural, far. Therefore, we use is for this and that and are for these and those. In English, we use one or ones very often when talking about choosing or having more than one option. For example, I ask, is that your car? Which one? The red one or the blue one? The red one. Yes, it is. The words one or ones always go at the end of the question and answers and they replace the noun in question. By the end of this lesson, participants
So this is a grammar part in which we will talk about demonstrative adjectives, okay? Uh, demonstratives. Uh, let me see. Yeah, we're gonna use the typical question as I was saying before, like how much is, how much are? Again, just be careful with these ones. We have this plural and then we have this singular. So that means that the object that follows this verb goes with the, the appropriate form. So if we're gonna use the is, the next thing is should be singular. This t-shirt, this one. So that means it's just um one thing. It's gonna be singular. But on the other side, we have how much are. So that means that the word that follows this one should be with plural. These, these. So we have how much are these sneakers, right? Also the same here, okay? If you notice here in the picture, I have the object here with me, like it's very close, yeah? So that's why I need to use these. And if I have something plural, it needs to be close to me so I can use these sneakers, okay? So you need to play again with plural and singular things as well. In the other picture, if you notice, we have that. How much is that t-shirt? So, it's like, it's a little far from me. So I'm pointing the thing, right? That one, I can say, how much is that one? How much is that one, right? It's like, when you go to buy your like estreno, right? So you have different options there. So you can use this vocabulary to speak out. You know what I mean? Just for you to practice, yeah. Sorry. Okay. So again, here we have something that is singular was how much is that or how much is that one? So that means it's just one product you're asking for. And then we had how much are. So in that one, you need to use plural thing, which is those and those because of the contents you're talking about. Right. And here we have the plural thing. Okay. There is a question mark here missing. Should we have it like this one? But we don't have it. Okay, and then we have another question that we ask, right? When we don't know, when we don't know, like somebody's pointing, how much is that t-shirt? But we don't know exactly which one. So we ask this question, okay, which one? Okay, the todas las que están ahí, which one do you want? Then, then we have this answer, the blue one, right? According to the context, right? In here, if something is plural, we can say which ones, right? Yes, when something is singular, we can ask which one because it's just one. But when something is plural, we go with which ones, which ones. And then we have the gray ones, right? So plural, plural, singular, singular. And then we have the prices, right? 99, 99 cents, right? This thing means cents. Uh, and then we have $28, $28. And 99 cents, right? We have another price here, if you notice, right? That goes related to these questions. At the end, like it depends on the people. Yes. Let me check. Let me check something here. Okay, let me show you these examples so you can have more details about it, okay? Here we have like a pair work, okay? It says, add prices to the items, then ask and answer the questions. Primero va a ver los items y le va a agregar el price, yeah? Okay? So le voy a dar tres minutos para que vean los, los products y luego usted le agrega el price, yes? Le agrega el price y luego yo le voy a preguntar, like, how much are those boots? Which ones? Okay. Entonces usted me ayuda. With the color, right? The brown ones. There. Y le agrega el price. Okay. Questions about this? Le, agre le agregaremos el precio, dijo, ¿verdad? Exactly. So you can add the price. Okay. The price should be different of each item. So we have these boots and then we have another one. Here we have a cup, another cup, glasses and glasses here. 
you have some useful expression like that's cheap, that's reasonable, that's okay, that's not bad, or you can say that's expensive because something is really expensive, right? Uh, so I'm going to give you three minutes so you can add the prices on this one, and then we can practice with this exercise, okay? And if you have a question, si no entiende el ejercicio, let me know. Avíseme, please. Avíseme so I can explain to you one more time. Yes? Teacher, ahí está solo el precio de las, de la, de los zapatos, de la pota. Exactly, but the, the brown ones, the brown ones, which is, I think it's this one. I think these ones are like, I think this one are, pero esta cosa no me Yeah, the brown ones I have, this one. So you need to add this one, uh, and these two, and these two. Very good. Thank you so much for letting me know. So now, que usted vaya a comprar el estreno, right? A Simán, right? Que vaya a Simán o a, I don't know, maybe a Prisma Moda, right? Or if you go to, I don't know, El Centro de San Salvador, downtown. Or if you go to shopping center, when you go to buy these things, you can practice these useful expressions. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can you can practice as much as possible with it, right? Or if you go to the market, maybe you can ask, oh, how much is this, right? Or if you go to let's say super selectos, let's say, right? You have different prices. You can practice. Uh, first of all, you practice the prices and you, you which is numbers, right? How much is something? So you have different products with different prices and you can practice your English over there. Uh, you have different options to practice your English every single day. Everywhere, we have different things that we can practice, right? I don't know if you finished with the prices at home. Andrea Marisol, thank you. Uh, teacher, uh, how do you say gorra? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a cap. cap? It's, a, it's a cap, okay. yeah, C-A-P. C A P. Cap. Yes. No, cap. Like C A P. Oh, oh, okay. okay. Charlie okay. A Apple P Peter. Cap. Uh huh. Cap. 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 If you have a question at home, let me know anytime. Okay, and then when you're ready, raise your hand so you can participate, okay? Raise your hand. Over there, tiene an option. Hay una opción ahí para participar. Okay, Lorena, you ready? Yes, I am ready. Okay. Give me a minute, please. I need another one. Uh, give me give me some time, Lorena, because I need another one. So you can participate with your classmate. That's the idea. Okay, so give me some, some time. When somebody else is ready, just raise your hand so you can participate. Okay. Have you finished at home? 
people have you finished yeah, yeah this is about like writing the prices of these products that we have in here so then we can have this practice like how much are those how much are these right which ones uh, and then we say like the color right um and then we say the prices and then we said one of these is prices right yeah that's the idea with this exercise Sorry, I'm mute. Once you're ready, let me know. This is about writing the prices of products, right? Each product costs in different like ways. For example, if you go to like uh, buy some pastelitos, right? How much are those? Like three per dollar, like two per dollar, right? Um, so if you wanna buy like some, I don't know, let's say pastry, right? How much is that? Is that expensive? Right, if you go to La Tecleña or if you go to El Rosario, if you want to buy some pastry, how much is that? Is that expensive or cheap? Okay, Brenda, thank you. Can you do um, number one? Can you do uh, one, please? Uh, Lorena, I'm sorry, Lorena del Carmen. I apologize. Lorena del Carmen, hello, hello. Hello, I Thank am you. A or B? Oh, I'm going to be A, okay? Okay. How much are those sunglasses? Yes. Yes. I, I am B. How much are those sunglasses? Uh, which one? Oh, uh, the red ones. They are $15. Oh, that's, that's very expensive. <laughs> that's pretty much expensive. Very good, okay? So this is the way you do it, right? I'm going to switch now. Okay, now you begin, please. Okay. How much are these boots? But... Oh, which ones? The black ones. Oh, they're like uh, $50. That's cheap. Oh, really? Well, that's a lot of money, you know. <laughs> $50? Yeah, that's maybe reasonable. Reasonable, that could be like, but it's like it's a lot of money. $50 is like how many days? Like maybe three days of working, you know? That's a lot of, that's a lot of time. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, and then at the end, I will like ask for more participation about these sexes, okay? Yes. So tome a screenshot of this activity so you can save it. And then uh, we will continue working on this one. Okay, because I need to take the attendance. Oh. And then we will continue practicing on this one. Just give me a minute. Okay. Cheap is caro. Huh? Cheap. What is cheap? Es cuando algo es barato. Ah, barato. Yeah, that's the meaning of it. And something is not expensive. Okay, Alison. Celaya. Hello, Alison. Hello, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Um, Ana Marisol. Thank Samora. you. Present. Thank you. Andrea Marisol Represa. Andrea Marisol Represa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Andrea Vanessa Landos. Present. Thank you so much. Barbara, Alejandra. Brenda, Castro. Carolina del Carmen, Perez. Thank you so much. Claudia Giselle Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much, Claudia. Cristina America, Monge. Hello, hello, Cristina. No. Okay, Daniela Asensio. Present. Good evening, Daniela. Edgar Portillo Cabrera. Hello, Edgar. Ernesto Misael Ventura. Griselda. I'm here, teacher. Thank you so much. Griselda. Ivania. 
Okay, love you, bạn nhé. Are you here? No. Okay, what about Jennifer Torres? Hello, Jennifer Torres. Give me a message. Here, Mr. Present. Oh, me, I'm sorry. Thank you, Jennifer. Lorena, thank you, Lorena. Okay. Yeah. I got you here. Thank you so much. Um, Jennifer Moss. No, Jennifer Moss, are you here? Welcome, welcome, welcome. No. Okay, what about Jennifer Marroquin? Hello, Jennifer Marroquin. Are you here? No. Okay, Jocelyn, Natalia. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Um, Karen Garcia. Carla Colocho. Oh, Karen, you're talking I'm here. about the chat. Thank you so much, Karen. Um, Laura Molina. Hello, Laura. Leslie Present. Orellana. Lisbeth de Rodriguez. Hello, Lisbeth. Good evening. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. It's nice to have you again. Lorena del Carmen Hernandez. Lorena, thank you, Karen. I checked the chat already. Thank you so much for letting me know. Lorena, she is in here, right? What about Lucia Elena Cepeda? Hello, Lucia. Present teacher. Mayra Areli Mendez. I'm here, teacher. Raul Jose Reyes. I'm here. Thank you. Rodi Dalila Barahona. Dalila, are you here? Mm -hmm. No. Oh, she's absent. Ruth. Yes, present teacher. That's you, Dalila? Or that's you, Ruth? Present. Ruth. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah, somebody like somebody said something before you. So I think it's Dalila. Let me check. Dalila. Yeah, Dalila is here. Yeah. Okay. teacher. Thank Dalila you so much. Presente. Yeah, I got you here. Sorry. Also, Ruth, thank you. And Stephanie Abigail. Thank you so much. I'm here. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get back to the exercise we're working on, which is this one, right? It's talking about prices, how much is something. Okay, raise your hand if you want to participate. If not, this is going to be random, people. Okay. Si no entendió el ejercicio, again, tenemos some products here. Y vamos a poner el price to these products, right? Luego, we're going to have this short conversation about how much is something, right? How much are those? These ones, we're going to work with plurals. Or maybe we're going to work with singular, right? With singular things. Let's have, um, let me see. I need to see your faces. Okay, let me see. Andrea Marisol. Thank you, Andrea. Are you there, please? Thank you so much. Um, pregúntale. Okay. Okay. How much is, how much is this, um, this cup? How much is? This cup. How much is that cup? Uh, which one? That, oh, the blue one. Oh, that is seven dollars. Oh, that's cheap. <laughs> no, that's very expensive, actually. Seven dollars is like, yeah, it's not really too much, right? Thank you so much. Okay, what about you, Ernesto? Thank you so much. Do it, please, Ernesto. Hello, teacher. Sorry. Yes, pregúnteme, ask. Uh... How much are the glasses? Uh, which ones? Which ones? Yeah, which ones? Um, so which ones? We have the sorry. pink ones and we have the red ones. Sorry, teacher. I, I know I understand. Okay. Okay. You still me preguntó how much are these glasses, right? 
Yes. Y yo le pregunté, which ones? Que sería, ¿cuál de estos dos pares? Ah, ok, ok. Uh, the, the red ones. Ok, those are five dollars. Oh. That's it. That's it, expensive. Expensive, right? Expensive. Very good. Okay. Okay. Great job. Uh, Anna, thank you, Anna. Go ahead. How much are the cup? Okay, how much? One more time, how please. Repeat. How much are cup? Okay. So, ahí tiene R. Y necesito que me diga si es singular o plural de object. Are these, are these cups? Ok, está utilizando R. R es singular o plural? Uh, singular, no, plural. Exacto, exacto. Plural. Entonces, tiene que ocupar el, el verbo to be que es singular. Ok. So, ok. Decimos, how much? How, how much? much? How much? Is or are? Are. Uh, no, it's going to be how much is? How much is? That this. cup. Uh, how much is that cup? Yeah, which one? Um, no sé qué color es ese. Dice realmente amarillo, yellow, gray, no sé. Uh, this no is gray. This is gray, I guess. Gray. This is gray. Uh, okay. Uh, this is gray, entonces. <laughs> so you can say gray? the gray one. The gray one. The gray ones. Oh, that costs like $50. That's expensive. Exactly. That's very expensive. Yeah. Thank you so much. Very Thank you, good. teacher. So, um, yeah, that's the thing we're going to use. How much is something, right? We have this useful expression. That's cheap. That's reasonable. That's okay. Not bad. And that's expensive. Okay. How do you practice this? Well, when you go to the market and you want to buy some oranges, or if you want to buy some vegetable, you ask, how much is that, right? When you go to the market on Sunday, right, para el mercado, Usted le pregunta a la señora, right? Mire, señora, este, how much is that watermelon? Right? Oh, mire, señora, how much is um, that lettuce? Right? Oh, I want to buy some bananas. How much are those? Yeah? Okay, or if you want to buy some, I don't know, let's say uh, tomatoes, right? How much are do those tomatoes, right? Tres por el dólar, le dice, oh my gosh, that's pretty much expensive, right? <laughs> yeah, so this is the way we ask this thing, right? Use this vocabulary, right? Or let's say if you go to like la tiendita de la niña, all right? Um, let's say la niña Eugenia, right? She always has different products over there. So you go and you ask, oh, do you have some um, churros, right? Some snacks. Oh, yes, I have this bunch of Diana thing. Oh, how much is that nacho? How much is that nacho, right? Oh, it's a quarter. Oh, really? That's expensive. Uh, yeah. So you ask for something, how much is something like when we want to buy a product, right? If you go, for example, to these places like, uh, I don't know, let me mention something like, um, I don't know, maybe if you go to, um, Walmart, you have different products, right? Different things over there with different prices, right? So you can go and you can like practice your vocabulary. How? How much is this? And then you can say, oh, it costs three dollars, right? Oh, how much is this? Oh, this costs seven dollars, and so on and so on. So like the example that we have here, this is the way we talk with somebody, right? You. As a customer, usted como cliente va a la tienda, right? Y ahí se encuentra con un salesperson, que es un vendedor, right? And you like to start having a conversation for a product, right? So if you want some shoes, you can say, how much are those shoes? And 
like the person doesn't like know like which ones that person will ask you oh which ones oh you can say oh the the brown ones or you can say the black ones right and then you can have the price of the product do you have a question about this one and i hope that we can practice the more things about this one tomorrow in class okay yeah, the time I think is over, I guess. Do you have a question about this one, people? Questions about this one? No? No questions no. at all? No, teacher. Oh, okay. We will talk about a little bit more uh, tomorrow. Okay, so uh, it was nice to have you. Practice your English. Be nice and be kind, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye, people. Thank you Bye. so much for everything. Good night, teacher. Good night, y'all. Bye. Bye-bye.